Have you ever stood under a high voltage power line before? Did you notice the somewhat mensing buzz of power coursing through those lines? As our world has grown even more increasingly hungry for electricity and the blessings it has given us, we still are beholden to a very basic problem. We are adept to making power and certainly at consuming it. But how do we get from point A to point B? The solution? An intricate tapestry of metals, materials, cables, and electromechanical inventions that have evolved along our path on the globe to create electric transmission. What is electric transmission? Crisscrossing our great nation is a complex series of high voltage power lines that comprise the grid as we now employ it. Energy must be moved from the source of where it is created, electric generation, to electrical substations, where it is further moved to the consumer, for example, you and me. The primary challenges of this daunting task lie in the fact that typically, generation facilities are geographically spread out throughout the country. Most generating plants are located away from urban population centers or in close proximity to water for cooling purposes. The fact is, most people don't want to live near the often massive and sometimes polluting facilities that generate power. Despite that fact, our voracious appetite for power grows each and every year. In order to cook our food, heat our homes, charge our phones, and maybe eventually our electric flying vehicles, we need to keep moving that power from steam belching power plants ever increasingly further and more reliably to us. The other challenges come in the form of distance and heat. As electric currents are pushed across transmission lines, once it leaves the factory, so to speak, it immediately encounters resistance. Human beings have not yet invented a stable superconducting medium. Thus, this heat is the result and represents lost efficiency and power. To compensate, the voltages are ramped up significantly using transformers which boost the voltage and helps reduce this costly loss. Still, high voltage transmission lines must connect the various parts of the United States and exchange voltages seamlessly and reliably with the geographic corners of North America. These connections, or more accurately, interconnections, directly connect generators from the western and eastern parts of the US. Quebec and Texas complete the puzzle. Congratulations, Texas. You're so big, you got your own little piece of the pie. This wide area synchronous grid moves the energy we crave all across the northern American expanse over mountains, plains, city streets, and waterways all the time. It goes on every day and night, and with some notable exceptions, flawlessly. The final challenge lies in where to put all of that transmission cabling. It typically can run overhead, as most anyone who has taken a road trip is accustomed to seeing in the form of towering steel supports. Or it can be run underground, which is more aesthetically pleasing to some, but comes with higher maintenance costs, the need to provide insulation. The movement of the massive amount of energy we need continues to place an ever so slowly trickling strain on our interconnected grid. The notable exceptions to its absolute reliability have been notable because we, as human beings, have grown so accustomed to the illumination we want at the flick of a switch. Strain the system just slightly past the point at which recovery happens and blackouts and brownouts can occur. Advances in our thinking and technologies continue to help reduce the likely impacts of that slow trickle. As we explore renewable energy sources and microgrids that keep smaller amounts of generation connected locally to both source and destination. We continue to try to find that elusive golden ticket of superconductivity as well, with the promise of better efficiencies and less loss of the valuable power we create. So, the next time you are standing under a buzzing power line, consider that the energy may be coming from a power plant down the street or maybe across the US of A. All of us are connected to those same lines, and without them, we are lost in the dark. That is electric transmission. <laughs>